I successfully completed 1000% Enrage Telos with the ranged combat style. After that, I completed the one cycle core at Solak. The toughest challenge in the last video was to duo the Mirage phase of Yakamaru, and we were able to get that done. In this video, things get even more difficult. For the fourth challenge, I want to get a Telos kill of 3 minutes and 50 seconds or below. For challenge 5, I want to perform a solo skip at Araxi. It involves doing 100,000 damage in less than 6 seconds, and I don't have a clue how they managed to do it. For challenge 6, I want to go through all 3 elite dungeons in solo mode, in a single invent, without food. No banking between kills, and a single death to any of the bosses means I have to restart at the start of the first elite dungeon. Vampirism Aura is also not allowed. The 7th and final challenge is pretty simple. I want to be a world record holder on the PVM record sheet. In this video, we're going to tackle the 4th and 5th challenges, the Telo speed kill, and then the solo skip at Araxor. I hope you all enjoy the video, and let's get started. The goal time is 3 minutes and 50 seconds or below. Up to this point, in the peak of my practice in the Telos tournament I was in a couple months ago, I was able to get myself a time of 3 minutes and 56 seconds. 6 seconds doesn't seem like a whole lot of time, but that's a very large difference. Not only that, but the 356 was the only time I've ever been under 4 minutes at Telos. To make matters worse for me, that was months ago, and I haven't done a single 100% speed kill since then. Rust will definitely be an issue. Did I just juice after minion? I just juiced after the minion. I honestly am so sad right now. Not in the fault, bro. Oh my god. First skill, 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Oof. I mean, we took five seconds off. I'm switching out the Nihil for a Titan. It should be a little more damage, but without the Nihil's hit chance bonus, if I splash the wrong abilities, it's gonna throw the whole kill. There's no way I just got an uppercut. <laughs> All right, well, this kill's thrown, but we can still, I mean, my, my P5 needs work and my P3 needs work anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, this is so bad. Oh no, 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 I'm dead, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Can I please kill the boss? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, Telos. Oh my god, Ryan. That's not Telos' fault. Dude, don't stun it now. Uh, if, uh, so if that Dreadnip hadn't stunned, I need to not drop a Dreadnip that phase. I don't care. I just want to try a meta, okay? Oh, that helps so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. 409. That's, I mean, it's still not fast, but it's better than previous ones this hour, so I'll take it. It's progress. Oh my god, I really fell flat right at the end there. 407, though. That's a new best. At this point, I started to bang my head against the wall. I just wasn't getting faster times, and I wasn't even able to beat my previous personal record of 356 from a couple months back. I'd have a couple really good phases where it was looking really promising, and then I'd throw one single phase by 5 or 10 seconds and I would lose the kill. If you added up all of my best phases, we'd be well under 3 minutes and 50 seconds, but I just couldn't put it all together. I wasn't consistent enough, and I decided to do something a little unconventional. See, melee has always been my best combat style, and a lot of people say that magic is better for sustained DPS and melee is better for burst damage. And although that can be true in a lot of cases, for me personally, I have always been better at melee with both. If you ask me to do as much damage as I can in 20 seconds, melee is the way to go. But if you have me go for five minutes, I am also significantly better with melee. In a regular five minute challenge gem, I can do 150,000 more damage with melee than I can with magic. I know melee Telos isn't generally considered the best strategy, but for this and for me, I think it's time to get back to square one. It's worth noting, I've actually never done a melee Telos speed before, so. I don't actually know if it's gonna get me the results we're looking for, but could be fun. Am I too early? Yeah, I'm too early. Oh, and my ring of death is not. Oof, bad. I started off with a strategy using the Dragon Battle Axe special attack to boost my maximum damage, and then using a Stadius Warhammer special attack in the first phase in order to make up for the attack reduction that the Dragon Battle Axe gives. This already worked out pretty well, and without even using vulnerability, I was able to get myself a 22 second phase 1 on the first attempt. Heading into phase 2 on that very same kill, things continued to look up. 
I found that with the correct walk, you could walk the boss out of the black beam before the magic onslaught started, and I was able to get a mutated barge assault into a Zara's Godsword special rotation. The damage was absolutely ridiculous. I was critting like crazy, and to my absolute astonishment, I was able to get out of the second phase at a little bit over one minute. This is a good 10 seconds faster than I'd be able to do it with magic, and that should be all the time I need. What the hell? A 104 exit? Oh boys, oh boys, this is the rotation here. Yep, this is it. Oh no, I don't have the right sigil. No. I'm so upset. I forgot my sigil. 325? Okay, this is how we're gonna do this, boys. Yep, this is how we're gonna do this. The only phase that wasn't good was the final one. Not having my Limitless Sigil greatly hindered my rotation, and I wasn't able to bleed an Assault or a Destroy in my Mutated Barge. My Assault was also left on cooldown at the end of the fourth phase, and I'm gonna make a note to not use Assault next time around. The cooldown is just too long, and if I'm gonna clear the fifth phase in the timeline I want to, I'm gonna need Assault. I'm pretty optimistic about the first four phases, so it's time to hammer away at this rotation. Oh, I'm out early. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay, please damage, good. 324, yeah, this could be it. Go, boys, this could be the one. Get an I believe in the chat, please, boys. I splashed right at the end. No! 352! Oh my god, I'm two seconds off! I was only two seconds off the time I needed, and I got it into my head that the rotations were good enough, I just needed the right damage. I just needed that exact same kill, but that quake right at the end to not splash. But this did not work in my favor. I did hours upon hours upon hours of Telos attempts over and over and over again, and I was unable to replicate the 352 kill. For the second time, it's back to the drawing board. I'm going to enlist some speed killing friends to teach me how to Fortic Vuln, and that way I'll be able to apply a vulnerability at the start of the first phase. I'm also not going to be using a Dragon Battle Axe special attack, as it's going to make me splash too much. I've already been at this for over 5 hours, and it's time to get it done. Seconds flat. Yeah, 21 seconds flat. Oh my god, I got the walk too. Come, come here, come here, buddy. Thank you, Telos. I love you, Telos. I actually love you. I love you so much. 106 with 100% of dread. This, honestly, I don't wanna, I don't wanna jinx anything, but this should be it. One thirty six. Okay. Focus, Ryan. Laser focus, boys. Laser focus, boys. Come on. Okay, that wasn't charging. Okay, I lost a second there. That's okay. Oh my god, I'm one K off. That's still okay. That's still okay. That was really unlucky though. That should have phased honestly. My assault splashed, I think. Tell us, I actually hate you. Ah, uh, still could be it, actually. Oh my god! No! 
It still counts. It still counts. That's a 350. Well, that's eight hours of my life I'm never getting back, and honestly, looking at the clip, I was pretty lucky to even get a 350. I cleared that P5 in about 11 seconds, and I wasted so much time on that phase four. Almost through it, but I'm glad it's over with. Unfortunately, things aren't about to get any easier. It's time to take on my most difficult challenge yet, the solo skip at Araxi. Phase two of Araxor has 100,000 life points, and phase three also has 100,000 life points. If you instantly run and skip phase two by going into phase three, the boss will have 100,000 life points on the HP bar, but as you deal damage, the boss will heal 100,000 additional life points. This way, there's no way to actually skip the damage on phase two. Or is there? The leftover life points from phase two end up added to Araxor's life points after about five seconds, which means in order to get this skip, I need to deal 100,000 damage in five seconds flat. If I can do this, I only have to deal 100,000 life points and I'll be able to insta phase to Araxi. Here's what I'm gonna need in order to pull this off. I'm gonna need to learn how to stall a storm shard on a dummy outside of the Araxite layer and then apply it to the boss when he spawns. If I can do this, I'll be able to get three shards on the boss while the web is burning instead of two. This will give me about 5,000 extra damage when I shatter. Secondly, I'm gonna need to charge up my mutated barge on a dummy down the path. After that, I'm gonna have to stall the assault ability on Araxor, and then with perfect timing, I should be able to attack Araxor with an assault and a destroy at the same time. Follow that up with a shatter, and with the right damage output, I should be able to have this. Okay, good thing, uh, good thing YouTube has slow-mo playback. Stalling a storm shard is really weird. I'm gonna use storm shards on the dummy, but I'm not gonna let my character run up to the dummy to cast it. Then I'm gonna enter the Araxia layer, and I'm gonna stay in combat by using bladed dive. Use anything other than bladed dive, and this won't work. Once Araxor spawns, I'm gonna click on Araxor out of melee range, and then I'm gonna click vulnerability with runes. For whatever reason, the Storm Shard that I stalled on the dummy will then be placed on Araxor. Don't know why it works, but it works. <laughs> my Zerk is already gone. And I didn't stall my assault correctly. That's fine. No, no, that's... <laughs> no! All right. That was, honestly, that was the best one yet, though. That was definitely the best one yet. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, I just want to see if I can do the stall correctly. Okay, so that actually did stall correctly, and I'm dead. Okay, ready? Barge, good. Yeah, that was kind of what it's supposed to look like. Kind of. Two. 15K? Oh my god, okay, okay. So that was definitely something there. That was better. Listen. 12k! <gasps> and my Zerk ran out. Not only do you need the RNG for the right damage, but the heal also appears to be completely random. Sometimes you'll have the perfect damage and the perfect hits, and then the heal will just come very, very early. So even though you would have had it if it had been a normal timing, you get bodied anyway. So this is a perfect example of that. The heal just instantly spawned and we still got it really close. If the heal had come one attack later, we could have parked the bus. Karma has its wicked ways. This was the only kill in three hours where one of my storm shards splashed. Because of this, I'm practicing the skip without three shards, so my shatter is only going to hit 9,000 damage instead of 14,500. No! God, I hate this game! The one time I miss a shard, that would have been it. Just fr freaking kill me. Just kill me. Just freaking kill me. And kill me the boss did. Until the next day when it finally happened. I freaking did it! I freaking did a solo skip! Holy crap! 
My Saren Godbo and I completely screwed up the fourth phase, but it was never about the fourth phase. It was about the solo skip. That's what I set out to do, and I was able to get it done. And even though it took six hours, I had enough fun getting it done that I actually went back and did it a second time over. This time around, it only took an hour and a half. One, two, three, four. That's another solo skip. Gone. See ya! Five times we've been challenged, five times we've been triumphant. But the final two challenges are more difficult than the rest. In the next video, I'm gonna try and solo all three elite dungeons in a single invent with no banking and no food. If we've got time after that, I'm gonna try and become a world record holder. If I can complete these last two challenges, that will be a wrap on the PVM week. Seven challenges in seven days.